Hey, healthcare rockstar, do your responsiveness scores need to increase, but you just don't know where to start? My name is Isabel, your patient experience consultant, and I want to help you improve your HCAP scores while improving your patient satisfaction. Today, I'm going to share with you four evidence-based practices to help you improve your HCAP scores around responsiveness. We will be focusing on two HCAP scores. Number one being after you press the call button, how often did you get help as soon as you wanted? And question number two, how often did you get help in using the bathroom or the bedpan as soon as you wanted help? Stay to the end so I can share with you something I think is a game changer in helping you increase your responsiveness scores. My name is Isabel and I've been in healthcare for the past 25 years as a respiratory care practitioner and as a leader at one of the top four largest healthcare organizations in the United States at one of its top performing facilities. I have my bachelor's in business leadership, my bachelor's in healthcare administration, as well as my Lean Six Sigma black belt and I am certified as a project manager. I would love to use my skills in helping your organization increase your HCAP scores as well as your patient experience. The first step in helping improve your responsiveness scores is having your staff do patient rounds. Your day shift staff should round on your patients every hour and your night shift staff should be rounding on your patients every two hours if your patient is awake. Is one of the problems you are having is that your patients seem to believe that they are not seeing their nurse or a caregiver for the entire shift or for hours on end? The second step in increasing your responsiveness scores is training all staff to help. All staff that enter the patient's room should be trained on asking the patient if there's any needs be that need to be addressed before they leave the room. This can include if the patient needs to use the restroom. This will help get the patient what they need sooner. Does your facility empower all staff to assist the patient? The third step in increasing your responsiveness scores is informing the patient of all future care. Your patient should be informed of the next time you will be coming into the room. If the patient is to receive pain medication, this should be put on the patient's whiteboard so they are clearly aware of the next time that you will be coming into the room. The patient should also be notified of the change of shift as well as introduced to the oncoming nurse. This fourth step is a step that I believe is really overlooked by a lot of facilities and can be the key to helping you improve your responsiveness scores. The fourth step in improving your responsiveness scores is empowering and training all staff to answer the call light. All staff should be trained and empowered on how to answer a call light and what is acceptable to do and what needs to be escalated to the nurse. All staff should be empowered that when they witness a call light, they can knock on the door and simply ask the patient what they need. And they can ask the patient what they can help them with. As we know, it doesn't take a nurse to get a patient a warm blanket or help them make a phone call. All staff members should be trained on what is acceptable to do for the patient, as well as what needs to be escalated to the nurse or another health caregiver. This will empower all staff to work together and improve your teamwork. And most importantly, improving your responsiveness scores. If this video was helpful to you, feel free to like and subscribe for more videos from me, Isabel, your patient experience consultant at Morintune Consulting.